Hello YouTube, this is Kaito JR here and I'm here to do another Ajin Demi Human character discussion topic video on Ritu Nagai from the Ajin Demi Human manga. So, Ritu Nagai, she is the mother of Kei Nagai, the main protagonist of the series, as well as Eriko Nagai, the younger sister of Kei, and yes, the daughter of Ritu Nagai. We don't know who the father is yet, he might appear or... No way, actually I think he's dead. Yeah, he might be dead actually, to be honest with you. So we're not going to be seeing Mr. Nagai anywhere. Well, we're going to be talking about the mother, Ritsu. So, Ritsu, she... Okay, she's not the best mother. I mean, we even saw it in the flashback in the first season, as well as the beginning part of the manga, where we saw Ritsu making Kei and Eriko, her son and daughter, to bury this dog that was defected and it died, so Kay brought it outside. No, yeah, Ritsu, she ordered Kay to bring it outside and bury the dog. Eriko was just crying. <laughs> Why do we have to bury our dog? It's not fair. It's not its fault. It was defected or whatever. Yeah, yeah, she was all upset doing that. And Kay says, Kay really, yeah, of course, Kay, he's very cold, kind of like his mother. Actually, he got his cold side from his mother more than his father because his father was more caring, like Eriko. Eriko inherited her father's side of being caring. And Kay inherited the cold side of his mother. Which we even see here as Kay just says, Yeah, well, you see, the dog, it was defective. There's nothing we could do about it. We just had to bury it and just forgot, just forget it ever even existed, even though they just they keep remembering about it. Because something happens here with this whole IBM thing that Kay summons for the first time, which he doesn't even know what it is. I mean, he sees his IBM and says, Wait, who are you? Eriko, run, it's a ghost. Get out of here, Eriko. And Eriko's like, what are you talking about? What ghost? There's something, there's something here. Although it was only K since he's an Aji and has his IBM. He can see it. Eriko, it's, real, it's revealed here in this flashback that she is a human as well. She's not an Aji. So don't say Eriko is an Aji because she's not. Yeah, so yes, K he sees the IBM and that's how, basically, Eric, that, that's what Eric remembers, like the more weird things about her brother, like, because Kay, because she she saw how Kay sees a black ghost, which is what he said, and uh, she didn't see anything. And Ritsu, I'm not sure if Ritsu knew about this. Probably not, actually. Yeah, I should, if she knew, she probably sell her own son to the government or whatever. I don't know. Okay, no, maybe. Maybe Ritsu's not that cold. Maybe she wouldn't actually sell her own son to the government. I mean, she. I, I think, yeah, she does care about K. It's just that she just wants K to right now just stay far away from him, like away from trouble because, yeah, I guess K, like, he's kind of like, targeted by some people right now, especially at the time it was Tosaki and, and Sato. Yeah, well, yeah, so Tosaki at the beginning and now it's Sato who's trying to take down K. But yeah, right now, Ritu, he, he, he just, she just wants K to stay away for now, well, right now and. Right now, she just wants Kay to stay with Sato, actually, and just be safe. You know, just not fighting, but that's what Kay's kind of doing right now, just fighting against Sato, so... Yeah, Ritsu, she's not getting her way with Kay right now. A lot of things are going Ritsu, are going Ritsu's way, actually. And she does... Yeah, she does visit Eriko, her daughter, occasionally in the hospital. I don't remember what the hospital was called, I don't even know what disease Eriko has. has never been revealed ever for some reason. I don't know what, what what's wrong with Eriko. Uh, yeah, Ritsu, she does go to the hospital to check up on Eriko. So yes, he does go ahead and do that. I mean, she's not a completely irresponsible mother. She does do that. I mean, the father isn't around, so Ritsu's gonna have to take care, take the rule as the father and mother because the father isn't around at all. So yeah, she has to do that. Yeah, so yeah, Ritsu does go to the hospital to check up on Eriko, and she tells Eriko that, yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, Ritsu, go, she goes to Eriko and says, well, your brother, is, right now, he's fighting terrorists, just to let you know, Eriko, and er Eriko's like, wait, what, my brother ter fighting terrorists? What the hell, he's not that kind of person to do something like that. Yeah, Eriko, she doesn't think too highly of her brother Kay that much, to be honest, I mean, Actually, she always thought of Kay as like a very cold and rational person, like too cold and too rational. It's not, like it's not normal, and 
Ritsu just says, well, actually, the reason K is the way he is is because he picks the people he wants to care about and holds them close to him. I mean, he doesn't, he's very smart and rational and cold, I guess. I mean, he gets his cold side from me, his mother. You get your caring side from your father. You see, like, so that's why K is the way he is. He's just like me, his mother. I mean, I'm very cold as well. I don't really, well, I mean, I do care about others. Just, I'm very callous about it. I mean, yeah, I guess she's very experienced with, I don't know. I, she's just she's just very cold and callous. Is what I'm saying, like very de emotionally detached most of the time, just like K is. Though K, K actually K, he didn't inherit inherit some of his father's caring side, but he tries to hide it most of the time, so nobody doesn't see that about him. Nobody doesn't see. Hey K, you we do care after all. No, I don't. I'm actually very rational and cold, and that's it. Yeah, that's Ko. That's yeah, that's Ko Nakano's thing to care about others. K is the cold and rational one. He doesn't do that whole caring thing that much he just wants to do is what he wants to do and that's it Ritsu explains this to Eriko which Eriko starts to understand that yes see there's a, there's nothing it's not fair to just write off K as Cole just because he's very like, rational and just wants to stay realistic and not just be too passionate or just care too much you know because a human being cannot care about that many people at the same time or an IG, whatever. So he, yeah, she tells this to Erico, and Erico starts to understand more, which is good because she really needs to start understanding because she kind of like that relationship with her brother needs to change now. He needs to develop more because right now she hates K, but after what what Ritsu said, it kind of got a little bit better. Like I started to develop more, so that's great there. Hopefully, yes, yeah, so we see Eriko cry here so, because she's now worried about her brother, which, great job, Ritsu managed to convince Eriko that to, about her brother a little bit more so she can understand her him a little bit more. So that's good. And, alright, so anything else about Ritsu? Yeah, okay, Ritsu, she's not a main character. I mean, we do see her from the manga from time to time, watching TV, seeing K fighting against Sato and some other Ajins on the news, saying, Ah, damn, that boy is up to trouble again. I told him to leave the country, but he doesn't listen. Oh, well, whatever. He can do whatever he wants. He's a grown man. Yeah, Ritsu. She does think about K from time to time. From time, to time. I mean, she... Okay, first of all, we haven't even seen her face from, like, the beginning of the chapter. She's been, like, this mystery character until, like, chapters later on when we finally saw her face. When Actually, when K was defeated by Sato back at the Force Security Building, he left. And called his mother, and that's the first time we ever, we ever saw Kay's mother's face. We ever saw Ritsu's face, so that was interesting. There, we got to see her face for the first time in that chapter. It's not that it's not that far back, or actually, it's pretty recent. Okay, maybe not maybe not the most recent chapter, but it is still back there. I mean, yeah. Anything else about Ritsu? Let's see, yeah, Ritsu. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, Ritsu was the one who. Yeah, Ritsu's the reason why Kaito doesn't hang around with K Nagai anymore because Ritsu said how. All right, look, K. If you want to become a doctor, you have to like. You have to make sure there are no delinquent friends in your life. You have to get rid of all of them. And yeah, K's like. Oh, so I have to delete my phone. My phone. Thing. Yeah, his phone number for Kaito. Yeah, so she asked him to delete to delete Kaito's phone number. He, she, she doesn't want him to hang around with Kaito anymore because he's kind of a bad influence. He's kind of a delinquent type of character. So he, yeah, she doesn't she doesn't want him to hang around with him. So yeah, so she just takes Kaito's phone, delete the number, and that's it. K no longer hanged around with Kaito until years later. I mean. No, actually, yeah, both King and Kaito, they go to different schools, so Ritsu never has to deal, has to have to worry about with K running into Kaito that much. I mean, they do walk past with each other, but Ritsu also tells K to not talk to Kaito, so yeah, just write him, write him off as a freak and not to, not to socialize with him, just leave him there and just focus on becoming a doctor, because that's what matters. And to, yeah, and, yeah, K... I guess Ritsu supports the fact that K is planning to become a doctor to cure Eriko's disease that she has because that's pretty important because Eriko needs to live a very long and healthy life. It's not fair that she has a disease and that's what K wants to do, become a doctor to cure disease and that will be all good and done for Eriko. Alright, so yeah, anything else? Uh, yeah, and Ritsu, she does care about her father, about no, about K's father, yes, K's father, her husband. We don't know her name. We don't know his name, Mr. Nakai, is what we know him as. Yeah, we know that he is a caring person, kind of like Eriko, and that's the reason why 
Ritu fell in love with him because of the fact that he's a very carry person, kind of similar to Eriko. Yeah, so Ritu, she doesn't completely reject the fact that Eriko is caring as well. I mean, she does respect that because that's the reason why she fell in love with her, fell in love with, with her husband. That's why. And so that's interesting to note that. You should keep that in mind. That's why. And, uh, I think, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, yeah. All right, if, if I'm forgetting anything about Ritsu, which I'm, I don't think I'm not, to be honest, though, I mean, we haven't seen her much in the manga. Hopefully we get more about her, or hopefully we get a flashback about her home backstory. I probably should have waited until we got that before I did this video, but uh, yeah, I did it now, so that's great there. Maybe I'll do a discussion video when we get Ritsu's backstory in the manga. Who knows? If we, maybe we, we won't, who knows? Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to keep my hopes up uh, that we're going to get that, so yeah, just keep... You should keep your hopes up too. All right, well, that's it for my video, everybody. Make sure you comment down in the comment section below. Follow me on Tumblr and Twitter. And donate to me on PayPal if you wish. And all that good stuff. All right, well, that's it for my video, everybody. Thanks for watching and bye.